Welcome back. I'm so excited about our theme this week. It's one of our community helpers. Can you think of someone that helps us stay healthy? Hmm. Who would that be? We go into their office sometimes and they check our body to make sure we're growing just right. Did you say a doctor? You got it. All this week, we're gonna be learning about doctors and how they help us grow and stay healthy. Do you wanna be a doctor one day? You can if you want to. And that is what my book is all about today. A little girl who dreams of being a doctor. The title is, I want to be a doctor. The author is Laura. She wrote the words. The illustrator is Cantalina. She drew the pictures. Let's see. We are at the hospital, mom, dad, and my brother Jack and me. Jack is not so happy. His foot hurts a lot. I saw the whole thing. Jack flew off the top bunk. Maybe he forgot he can't fly. Dad put ice on Jack's foot. His foot is black and blue. Mom thinks it could be broken. So here we are in the emergency room. It's a busy place. Some people are hurt, some people are sick. It's a good thing doctors are here to help. I like to help people too. I tell the doctor, her name is Dr. Tate. Maybe you will be a doctor someday, she says. Dr. Tate looks at Jack's foot. She touches it gently. Let's take an x-ray, she says. It will show us if any bones are broken. We go to another part of the hospital. An x-ray machine takes a picture of Jack's foot. A man comes to look at the x-ray. Are you a doctor too, I ask? Yes, he says. I am Dr. Dean. I read x-rays. The doctor sees a small break in one of Jack's bones. So next, we go to see Dr. Jones, a bone doctor. There are doctors just for bones, I ask? Yes, says Dr. Jones. Just like there are heart doctors, brain doctors, skin doctors, and more. Who did you see to get those glasses, Dr. Jones asked. The eye doctor, I say. What do you call your tooth doctor, Dr. Jones asked. The dentist, I say. And who do you see for checkups, he asks. My regular doctor, I say. Oh, I get it. She's a kid doctor. Mom and Jack go into the exam room. Dad and I decide to go get a snack. In the cafeteria, we see lots of doctors and nurses on their lunch breaks. Dr. Tate is one of them. I used to think there was only one kind of doctor, I tell Dr. Tate, but there are so many kinds. What kind would you like to be, Dr. Tate asked. I shrug. 
Well, would you like to meet a few more, she asked. Dr. Tate takes us around the hospital. We meet Dr. Lou, who is a baby doctor. I've always loved working with little ones, Dr. Lou says. Then we meet Dr. Kent. He helps people walk again after an injury. I really get to know the people I treat, Dr. Kent says. Some of them I see every day. We meet Dr. Lopez, who works in a lab. She does tests to see what is making someone sick. You must like puzzles, I say. Yes, Dr. Lopez says. Our work is like solving mysteries. I asked Dr. Tate what she likes about being an emergency room doctor. I meet so many people, she says. Every day is different and busy. Later, we go find Mom and Jack. Jack has on a special boot. He needs to wear it for a few weeks. It will help his bone heal. Jack can even walk with it. He is feeling so much better, all thanks to doctors. The end. To dream of being a doctor, we need to look like one. Let's start by adding our white doctor coat. Do you remember when Dr. Tate was listening to Jack's heart? What is that tool she's using? She puts it in her ears and places another part on Jack's chest. Do you know what it's called? A stethoscope. And you would wear one too as a doctor. Let's add ours. And now let's add our pocket with our badge that reads a very important word. Do you know what our badge says? D-O-C-T-O-R. You're right, it says doctor. Let's trace the word. Great job. Let's not forget about our facial features. What do we need? I drew a happy mouth because I know that's how doctors feel when they're helping so many different kinds of people. And that's how you will feel too. I'm sure all our community helpers that are doctors are happy because helping others makes all of us happy. Now that you're a doctor, see who else you can help. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.